So today's video is really on the different ways that you can store a lot of your products, a lot of your food that you're putting up for your emergency situation, maybe some of your gear, different ideas, different types of shelves, different types of storage capacity, and everything else. Now remember, it's all on what you want to spend because some of the shelves do get very expensive, but you can, on a budget, you can start and you can make sure that you have some place to store your emergency supplies and gear before you start buying everything. And then you're scratching your head and trying to figure out what do I do with this and how do I store it? And it's just like setting on the floor somewhere. So you wanna make sure that you have a really good idea of what is going on and what you want to achieve in a goal as far as having a nice organized storage system. Okay, to, to give you guys some ideas on storage, these are, they come in three shelves, three storage, one, two, and three, okay? And I've got them stacked on top of each other. And you can get these online and I store all my lightweight stuff except for the very bottom drawer I do have batteries in there that I have to move but what I'm getting at here is <clears throat> you can take and store all kinds of your survival products in some of these drawers as you can see now this stuff is all lightweight and everything else and these are great they're very cheap and you can use these. Now over here, <clears throat> you may have seen in some of my videos, but this here is a metal shelf. It's solid metal. And I do put some of this stuff on here. Okay. And I put this stuff down here, a little bit heavier stuff. There's some, you know, all the metal kind of things and all that kind of stuff. And these shelves are very sturdy and something that you'd want to pick up and have. Now I did do a video a while back when I bought this shelf here. And I put it all together, and this is where I store all my emergency backup food. Now this is kind of, kind of a working pantry. I just I took it out of the main pantry of the house to give us more room in there. This is a metal shelf. It's solid metal. Okay, each shelf will hold up to 375 pounds. So you start at the bottom, as you can see, I have the most. And you just kind of work your way up. You always put the heavy stuff to the bottom. But this is another great metal shelf. It's a five-tier shelf. You can get these in uh, three-tier, two-tier, five-tier, four-tier. It's whatever you would like and however you can afford it. Now, when you're doing your storage and stuff, you can get uh, bed risers that I'm going to show you. And this way here, you can raise your bed up as high as you may need it, depending on what type of a storage you want to put under your bed, either plastic storage containers, metal ones on wheels, or you can get the cloth ones that are very sturdy that you could store maybe dry goods in and slide them under the bed. You have to know your proper measurements so you know exactly what size bed risers to buy. I mean, go on Amazon. You can find them. They're all different prices and they're different sizes. They start at two inches and I think they go up to like 10 inches if you needed it to go that high. So if you had a spare room, you wanted to lift the bed up a little bit so you could slide the stuff underneath to give you more storage and have it, you know, concealed so nobody can see it, that is a great option for you to do, especially if you say, didn't have a lot of space in your apartment or townhouse, condo, whatever it may be, or in your regular home. Now, as you can see, I'm out here in my garage. All right, now I picked these five shelf systems up. I got them at Walmart. I've had these things probably for about six years. All right. And we store extra stuff out here, you know, cooking stuff, um, you know, all that kind of stuff on this shelf, particular shelf right here. But this works really great. They are sturdy and everything else. The good thing is, is they have a flat surface so that you don't have to worry about putting something down, as you'll see. 
And this way here, you could put your can guns and stuff if you wanted to use a shelf of this type. Now, these things are very, very sturdy. They'll hold up to 200 pounds per shelf. Uh, I would, if I was going to put these in my house to put heavy can goods on, I would take and get the, the straps and stuff and secure them from the back to the wall just to be on the safe side, just because they are plastic. As you see over here on this shelf here, this is all my kind of miscellaneous stuff. I always keep extra like charcoal and stuff. I put that on the very bottom shelf. This is all my extra gas and stuff. I do have two um, tanks over there that I can run a lot of my equipment and everything off of with this adapter right here. You know, but this is just another shelf. This is in my garage and stuff that I do not have to worry about going bad. You know, but you always start, like I say, with the bottom, with the heaviest stuff, and then work your way up. Then I have a little shelf right here next to it that I keep my toolbox on. Now, see, this is a metal shelf also. But see, it's a three-tier shelf. I've had this thing probably for 15 years. <clears throat> Still works fine. Yes, it's starting to get a little rusted and stuff, but, you know, it's out in the garage. And I keep my toolbox and everything on it and my tools, my drill, and everything else. And this way here... Giving you an idea that there's a lot of different ways that you can do storage in your home and different products that you can buy that aren't really that expensive and you can achieve your storage situation. On a final note, as you're looking through and you're trying to figure out exactly what you want to do and what type of shelves you should buy, make sure you are doing your homework and paying attention to the weight per shelf. Everything will give you a weight per shelf and it'll tell you how much it can actually hold. Now, like I have said in several videos that you wanna make sure you start with the heaviest products to the bottom and work your way up. Your plastic shelves and things of that nature, unless they're really, really sturdy shelves, I would use those for dry goods because they don't weigh that much. This way here, you don't have to worry about something falling over. If you're looking something to put your canned goods on or um, uh, store-bought canned goods and that type of thing, then you want to make sure that you're getting a product that can hold a lot of weight. Something that's probably between the neighborhood of 270 to 350 pounds per shelf. Now they do make them, if you want to spend the money, they do have them out there where they'll support up to a thousand pounds per shelf. So you really have to do your homework. You have to know what your budget is. And this way here, you will be able to put up a shelf system to store your emergency supplies or gear on that you can have it organized and it looks really nice and you know where everything is. That is the key to the whole situation of when you're doing your prepping. It's all part of prepping. You have to have some place to store your preps. So it's something you really want to remember. It's something that you want to focus on first before you really start buying a lot of your product. You want to have some place to put it where it's safe, it's in a cool, dry area, and you can keep it organized so that you know exactly what you have and what needs to be used first. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I hope this little video helps everybody out in trying to get everything organized and get everything in its proper place. So in case of an emergency, you know where it is because you're organized, which is a very, very important thing. So until next time, folks, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. Share this with your friends, if you would, please. And I will catch you all on the flip side.